Are you okay? Steve, it's a Monday at two o'clock and this is what you're doing right now. I was almost about to fall asleep. Why are you doing the seven day detox? What's Last happening, day? babe, is that I'm giving my body a break from all the bad things I've been eating because I haven't been eating very well. You're drinking these like smoothie things. Is this supposed to really hold you over? No. You don't want a dad bod. Exactly. <laughs> I cannot with her. I love it when her little face gets all smushed like this. This is my life now. <laughs> right on top of the pizza. I'm so thinking about getting a separate freezer to put in our garage. I legit wrote sushi on this one because I had spicy tuna and I was a little worried about this one. So I'm just gonna kind of tuck that away to the back. It's officially been one week since we've had this little nugget in our lives. It's gonna be your mood going into 2021, honey. Oh my God, Steve, she's 100% you. You're not as tired as like the first time around, right? Like I feel more well rested the second time. Teeny and I are having a mommy daughter date in the parking lot at the park. Do you like having dates? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. What did you get to eat? A hamburger. And what else? Chicken nuggets. And then a milkshake. She's Chicken living milkshake. her best life. She's gonna eat her happy meal. I'm gonna eat my Big Mac. And uh, I just wanted to do something with her, just the two of us, for old time's sake, a mommy-daughter date. So the navigation on my car, I decided to pick the British lady as the voice, and Teeny literally goes, why did she just say, into the car park? Can you say it? Into the car park. <laughs> English accent's on point. That sounds like a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing with the lip? Oh. Oh. Three weeks postpartum. And we just went out for like an hour to go grab lunch. And we don't have the baby with us. So I had to bring my pump. Oh, there's a guy right there. No. The second time around is bringing back the memories. <laughs> okay, so no cars here. No one can really no see. No cars here. No one can really see. Okay. Right. And if you've got a great man, he'll even do you the honors of covering you with a blanket while you no get situated. Really and then we can drive. So we found the spot. I'm all set up. Currently pumping. Back on the road. So I've got two pumps that I've been using. I've got the Medela pump and then I've got the LV pump, which you put in your bra, but didn't bring that one. You know, now that I'm a mom, again careful this so many new down. products out oh, you gotta tighten okay. your uh, your apron let me just say sweetie has seen things that she shouldn't i'm sorry i apologize in advance for all the times i've stripped down all the times you followed me in the bathroom and i apologize for the things that maybe you've seen that have scarred your innocent little doggy brain do y'all want to see the glamorous side of a uh, postpartum let me show you guys my current essentials. Don't mind the mess in my room. Postpartum life is real, y'all. I have been, first of all, living in this robe. I gained almost, I want to say, close to 40 pounds this pregnancy. Um, very different than last time. I gained 55 with Teeny. It's crazy. It's crazy to think that there was a baby in here. So I believe that I am now down about 20 pounds. 20 pounds down in three weeks. Slowly but surely gonna get back and you know what? I'm okay with taking my time. So, especially cause I'm just gonna be living in this robe for a while. What are you doing with all those ice packs? Have you enjoyed having Amari here with us? Yeah. What is your favorite thing about Amari? Shape. Her shape? Yeah. <laughs> I kinda like her shape too. <laughs> She's a little glob. I just wanna eat her sometimes, can I? Why? Because it's my baby. She's your baby. Yeah. Some of you might be wondering, what does like postpartum care really look like? Let me show you. This is what I call my postpartum survival box. Yes, the struggle 
is real. Basically, you have a kid and then you become a kid again because you're wearing a diaper. I mean, the fact that they're pink though, are you dead? I've actually transitioned from the diaper to a maxi pad. Just real talk, I didn't actually tear like horribly. Um, Yes, these are real things that happen during labor. They break it down into different degrees of tearing and I just had a first degree, very slight, minimal, didn't even require very much stitching. So I didn't feel a lot of pain, not to let that freak you out. Um, you don't feel it when it happens, um, but afterwards it definitely, it's real. These cooling pad packs do really great. You put them in your underwear basically. Another thing postpartum are these Tux medicated cooling Pads. I highly recommend these. This is something I definitely had first time around and second time around. It just ha can help with like hemorrhoids as well as, you know, cooling and giving down there a little bit of a, um, I don't know what to, how to say this, but uh, like a cooling sensation. This is basically like a hospital strength spray and it helps with like the itching and the burning and maybe some pain that you might have, especially like the first like week and a half. The Freedom Mom, actually, this is cool. I didn't have this with Teeny. It's like a peri perennial, 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 I don't know how to say it. It's a healing foam. So it, again, it does the same thing as this. Look y'all, pads for the tatas. Let's just say your girls, when you're breastfeeding, they leak. So you just stick them inside of like your bra. Something else too is some tender care for the nips. You feel me? Like a soothing relief for like sore nipples. Do you even know what it is? What do you use that for? Uh, for my eyes. <laughs> Little do you know, honey. Did you know mom puts that on her booty? Yuck. Something else that I actually don't have anymore, but I was using religiously the first two weeks. It's a little squirt bottle that you use and you can fill it up with warm water because after you have the baby, you're not advised to really wipe. It's just a little sore. You don't really want it to chafe. So they advise that you use like a little squirt bottle. And so I was doing that with warm water, just really giving it a good rinse. It's crazy because it's like every day I'm seeing my body just like, shift and transform again all over again it's like crazy how it shrinks you know if there's one thing i learned the first time around it takes nine months for your body to do what it's got to do and you better believe it's got to take at least half that time if not more even to just kind of get back into the swing of things so i'm just letting my body heal and recover i'm eating good i'm resting pretty good for the most part got a new house yeah, this house that we're in right now. <laughs> this is yours and Amari's first Christmas. Do you wanna go show everybody how you put your ornaments on the tree? Yeah. It's giving me anxiety how you're doing it all in one little section, but all right, it's kid. okay. Show you like decorating the tree? Yeah. Show us what you got. Check like out that tree. It's the biggest tree I've ever had. Let me step on here, Brett. What? Watch out. Please be careful, Teeny. Hold on to the Okay, I won't, I won't fall off. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Watch that's up there. There's a there's an angel. Look, and there's your mermaid right there. I put it right there. You did. What about the unicorn? That's yours too. Yeah. All right, little dude. Let me see what you got, Where dog. I put? No, that's definitely all bunched up. Can you put it maybe down here? This is a lonely spot. You're doing a great job too. Uh -oh. She's helping by farting. You want to put one on the tree, you my dear? Know? Never had eggnog. You're not missing. I've anything. honestly tried a few different, like when people say, no, this one's good. It's, it's never only, good. It's only good if it's spiked. Really? I thought it was naturally spiked. No. We need okay, to... let's change the lights. We gotta turn off these lights though, because you can't really see Yeah, let's light. see it. We still have a lot more ornaments to do it. Wow. Oh, look, it's colorful. Definitely the white lights are the way to go. Okay, go. Oh. <laughs> You guys, are you showing it? Drink no spiked eggnog? We are having our tea party. Pit, pit, tea. <laughs> oh, Teeny's tea party is happening. Are you serving me? All right, darling. All right, darling. Darling. Wow. Chai kick the coin day. Tea bubble. Is it good? Can you say, mmm, zor khosha? Zor khosha. I actually found Daddy. this on Amazon and I was gonna give it to her for her birthday, but we're Daddy. having one of those nights I where wanted we wanted to open it early. T, did you know that your birthday is coming up on Saturday? How old are you turning? Five. No. 
Sometimes I feel like you are a five-year-old, but you're actually turning three. How creative is this though? I love it. What are you gonna make me today? Okay, so today, today. Hey, I didn't order that one. You, 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 you like it. I didn't order the orange one. I don't want orange. I, excuse me, ma'am, I ordered the blueberry one. Can I also get a chocolate piece of cake? Do you have any more chocolate cakes? Yeah, you want this one? That's not chocolate, that's lemon. I didn't order that. You need to try it's chocolate. Do you have anything that's like brown? This is cake. <sighs> you need to try it. But I thought you were supposed to serve me at Teeny's Tea Party House. Okay, I guess well, this is what fart. I... My what? Fart. You said fart. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I want my money back. This tree is looking good. We got our stockings up. Did a little something something to the piano area. We added this like wreath up there. Some Christmas candles. And then added some cranberries into my vase with these cute little trees. Steve keeps hating on this pillow, by the way. It's a magnolia pillow. I got it at Target. I thought it was so cute and teeny. And homeboy is like straight up hating on it. This is in our entryway. A little Christmas tree. We had some extra garland, so we hung it on the mirror. A little bit of signage, cause y'all know I'm cheesy. And then I made a cute little moment here with my DW home candle. And it smells like heaven. My signage. This is our happy place. Stevie decided to hang. This Trader Joe's garland up here. I don't know how I feel about that. But it's very similar to our fall decor. I just kind of switched it up a little bit, changed the um, doormat, and just kept it pretty chill. I want to add some more stuff out here, but I haven't decided. Oh, is that sweetie? If you're wondering what all this stuff is right here, I definitely had fun purging today. I'm also going to be donating all of this stuff. So many leftover underwear, uh, diapers postpartum as well as um, newborn diapers that Amari has outgrown, some swaddles, some other postpartum care stuff that we're gonna be donating to a local women's center. I even got some of this stuff, which I don't think I need. I think I'm actually overproducing right now, so I even have more stuff upstairs. How do we feel about this, y'all? I still kind of am playing with it. I love the candles in the garland. It's really cute, but I don't know about this because it's not matching. I feel like I need like a more of like a cranberry red one. That could be really cute. Mama got ready for the day. So these are my Doc Martens. Got my dress at Urban Outfitters. And then this blouse is from a brand called Waif, W-A-Y-F. I feel like this is like the first time in this vlog that you guys have seen me ready. So today I purged my entire closet. I got rid of about five bags of clothes. Uh, I got rid of two and then I got rid of a bunch of shoes. I um, still have to do my shoes. But when I was purging my closet, y'all, I found this like little romper dress. I wore this a lot when I was pregnant and it actually like fit me all the way up until my third trimester. It's literally a winning day when you are four weeks postpartum and you actually have time while baby is napping to do something for yourself. So I ended up purging my closet and then I also got ready today. It just feels good when you get ready. I don't have plans to go anywhere, but I do wanna to try to knock out some of my assignments that are on my to-do list. So it always is a good day when you're ready for the day. I actually did my hair today in a jiffy with this. This is the Revlon um, All-in-One Styler. Oh my gosh, look at how much hair. This is actually what I used to do my hair today. And it literally took me to do my thick hair only less than 30 minutes. And my hair was wet out of the shower. Amari, hi, your eyes are open. Oh my goodness. Oh, are you gonna wear your cookie outfit today? Yes, you are. Oh my gosh, you are four weeks old today. Can I eat you? Oh, she just pushed my hand away. She said, nope. Oh. It's Amari's first You're not having school. any turkey, but you're having the remnants through the booby. Yeah, hopefully it knocks her out with the tryptophan and the turkey. Ooh. It's her first Thanksgiving. That's so sweet. Look at the outfit, babe. Hey, check head. out the outfit. The outfit details. So we just put Teeny down for bed. Three years ago, I was at the hospital being induced right now, and then she came into the world tomorrow. And so what is Stevie and I doing right now? Which today, by the way, also, 
is this little nugget's one month birthday. We are watching our Switzerland vlog. We were trying to show teeny pictures and videos of just how young she was and how much she's a big girl now. So we played some of these videos before bed. And so Stevie and I are kind of like binge watching travel vlogs from last year. And it's so bittersweet, babe. Aww. And what are you doing? He's Trying putting to... together her birthday scooter. Due to COVID, we are not having a normal party. We're having a very small party, just Teeny and Perfect. her cousin. But Saz and I were like, dude, we gotta, we gotta make it fun. So we're getting a bounce house here, princess theme. The guy was like, I got Disney princess. I said, that's the one. We're putting it in our driveway because it's huge. And uh, her cousin's coming over and we're gonna princess out. We're gonna all wear, not me, but everyone else is gonna the wear prince. their princess costumes. And I'm making a really hefty chocolate chip cookie cake. Oh my God, world's greatest dad right there. See, here's the thing. We're watching a vlog from a year ago, right before okay. her second okay. birthday. And right now we're filming a vlog right before her yeah. third birthday. Next year, we could be watching this content right While here. While we're in Europe. <gasps> Let's go to Europe again. Hopefully. This is like, what, this is the best, this is the best memories like ever. I know, 2021, please don't let us down. Are you excited to celebrate your big sister tomorrow? We're gonna take away some of your shine, okay? I know this is a postpartum vlog, but hey, we gotta celebrate Teeny, okay? Back, she doesn't uh, even care. Oh, I love my hair here. My hair looks healthy here. What is that out there, Teeny? What is that called? Jump, jump! It's 9 a.m. and we're bouncing for Teeny's birthday! Woo, Belle! Do you love it? You want it to stay here forever? Yeah. I don't know I if that's a good look for our driveway. You have such a good daddy. It was raining earlier, so look at him. He's drying it off for you. He's such a good dad. I can oh. just pass. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear teeny. Happy birthday to you.